Hey everybody, this is David at Barnyard Bees. Today what we're doing, I'm doing some small splits. Okay, if the sun's turned just right where you can see it, right there's my queen. Okay, so we know this hive right here will be queen right. So if you want to do an in-yard split with a small two-frame nuke, uh, a lot of times when people do these, the bees will fly back or they'll lose the bees up sconce or whatever. Now here's a here's a good sure way to avoid doing that. So here's what we got right here is my is my two framer right here. It's a little bit dirty what's been sitting over there in the pile but it'll be okay it'll dry just a little bit wet there on top. So what I do I know the queen is right here in this box and all I'm going to do is pick one frame out. One decent frame that has a combination of a little bit of everything. This is full of eggs, packed full of eggs, a little bit of cat brood, honey on top. And you can't see on this side, but a little bit of pollen. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put that one frame in this box right here. Now this is queenless. Remember, this is queenless. So now... What I'm going to do now is put this box back together. Remember, the queen was right here on this frame. This is a good, easy way to, to get those bees built up. This is solid honey here on this side here. That's a solid frame of honey. And it'll also, what it'll do, it'll give, once I do this, you'll see what I'm doing, it'll give that queen room to lay. So I'll come over in my box, get my empty starter strip. Put it right in the middle. That'll encourage them to draw that out good. So right there. So what what do I do now is the hive is facing that direction. Let me get my box turned around here right so you see what I'm doing here. Right there's my right there's my two-framer. Okay. Let me put this on pause because I really can't do this one hand. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Now here's what I did. That's where the queen rod hive was sitting right there. So I put one frame in. One frame. I moved that whole box over here this hive was packed pretty heavy so a lot of those bees are going to fly back to this box right here because that's where they're orientated to now the the, the frame here didn't have a lot of pollen just a little bit but that's okay because these bees right here let me get here in front where you can see hopefully they're bringing it in now you can see but maybe not yeah there's some right there you'll see they have pollen so that these bees will be these foragers will be be bringing in pollen immediately in this hive so what do i do now okay it's october 1st um i just made a video a little while ago another video so it'll probably go out first i don't i'm not sure which one i'll put out first but uh sometimes i get out here and i'll have three or four ideas and i'll make them all in one day but it's it's october 1st and see right there you can see there's bees bringing in a lot of pollen that's one frame is all that is i'll put a mated queen in there being as late in the year as it is it's kind of risky to put a a virgin queen i mean you still can there's still enough time but if you want a sure way of more of a chance of that hive surviving get you a mated queen because you want her to lay immediately. It's October. So, you know, you need three or four weeks of her laying solid. Because once it cools down and the days get shorter, she'll start throttling down. And you don't want to put all that time in a virgin queen or a queen cell. Because that, that's time that two or three weeks right there, she's not going to be laying. And a non-proven queen, you know what I mean? It's, it's just, it's, it's not good get you at this time of year i advise get you a good mated queen a good proven layer let's go get in there and lay immediately so 
all I'll do now. So here's right here's here's the hive that I moved over. Uh, a lot of them, a lot of them orientate right back in there, but a lot of those bees you can see right down there. They're going in there and they'll pack that hive out, and you don't lose any bees that way. And all I'll do now, I'll put another starter strip, and they'll fill this thing out in no time. I'll also I'm going to put a feeder on top, and that's it. So you're not going to lose any bees right there by doing it that way. That hive there had plenty of bees in it. It's not going to hardly miss any of those. Mm -hmm. So that's that's a quick little split you can do in your yard. Now, if you're taking them from a different yard, it's you don't have to worry so much of those forages going back. But in a yard like this, if you, if I would have just had moved that whole frame and bees to another position, a lot of those bees would fly back to this original spot. You would lose them. This way they won't because I moved the split to here and moved the original hive here. So that's a good way of doing it. Don't forget, we got uh, nukes packages 2019. Now's your time to get them if you want them. Get in there early and, and pay for them early and you'll get them early. We've got a lot, a lot of bees right here to overwinter, so we're gonna have tons of bees come springtime. Don't forget, click on the little bell, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Barnyard Bees.